around. No. No one can see you. I'll cut you out. No, you like, won't. Come on. You're not filming Come it. on. I need to do You're this. Not Just a bit. I'll put no sound. Come on, lay down quick. I'll turn it off in a minute. It's the bit that gets more confusing. Right, so give me the four. That's four and a half. That's so not that, four and a half. That's four and a half. The little letter A should be in line with oh, that. Oh, I'm looking at this thing. What are you looking at? I'm looking at this piece. Why are you looking at that? So I have to look at that at the top, A. A? Is that on four and a half? Yeah. Okay. So draw. From the midpoint. Yeah. It says. To there. Mark this point with the vertical line and Done repeat it. on the other side. So repeat on this side. To find out how long the brow should be, move the calipers to 5 centimeter measurement. Place one point on the caliper on the mark that you made for the beginning of the brow and the other at the end of the brow. So that's 5 centimeters should be that how long the brow should be. It's hard to move. Right, so from the first point. No, from the beginning of the brow. Yeah. yeah to that's the end. how long it should be. To the end. Feels a while longer. This is a woman you're doing. Jesus Christ. Okay. So that should now give you a uh, repeat on the other side. To check how long the beginning of the brow should be, move to the calipers to 1.5. We'll do two. Do this is or two. Or two. Place one point, on, Place the one point on the inner corner of the eye and the other point on the underside of the brow. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> no, they can't squint. Inner point. Inner point of the eye. There. A mark that shows the beginning of the brow. Okay, yeah. Mark the point with a horizontal line. On either side. To check how long the tail should be, keep the calipers at two centimeters setting. Place the one point near the outer corner, mm. and then from the edge of the outer corner of the eye, and the other point to the correspond with the mark that you made for the length of the brow. Yeah, but that's right up here. Yeah, sorry. Are the lines the same? You're not drawing a line, you fucked up. You're just <laughs> measuring it. Does it correspond roughly yeah, two centimetres yeah. out of the corner of my eye, yes? Yeah, a little bit Right, lower. as long as it's there, then you know it's about the right length. Um, yeah. You're just checking your measurement. Okay. Okay? So the tail must never be lower than the beginning of the brow. Or it will create a very... Droopy brow. Oh, it's right up in here. So it's got to be higher. So yours should be waxed further up. <laughs> we can pluck out all the. Any more measuring? Right. To check. To check the height of the arch, measure seven to seven and a half centimeters from the inner side of the nostril. Seven. To the upper edge of the arch, i.e., the midpoint of the brow. The inner side of the nostril. Hair. Yeah. Here. God, to where? To the the middle of the brow, the uh, the top. Uh, where will be, where will the brow seven. be highest? It doesn't reach seven. It must be seven and a half. Did it say seven? Seven and a half? to seven and a half. Yeah. A mark with a horizontal line, okay. like a line. You've got to imagine yeah, that there. I have no eyebrow, Donna. It's there. You've got to imagine you're drawing this. Okay, I am. I just wanted to understand. It seems lower. In 2020, Dawn Sahong Dam came online close to Definitely the in the middle of the nostril. The inner bit of the nostril. The, there, that. Okay, now what? There, look, look where. Yeah. Once you have made all the appropriate markings, you can fill the brow with your marking pencil using three cross-reference points. Cross-reference points should be the horizontal and vertical to draw a, a, an eyebrow. So where's the bottom of the eyebrow? I just make that up. No. 
Yeah. The so bottom should have been marked earlier. I've got the top bit. Your eyebrow should be like this. The bottom should have been when you measured one and a half to two centimetres from the inner part of the eye. You should have drawn a line across. Do you remember you did one and a half to two centimetres? Two centimetres from where? From the inner part of the eye up, that you should have marked that across as the beginning of your eyebrow. Yeah, I've got the beginning, but I need to know. So I, from that point to that point, I just draw like well, that. Well, no, you should have marked it up here as well, shouldn't you? Yeah, I've done the top of it. Oh, that's it. That's the. You go up to the top Your and finger. then. Your eyebrows are not where they should be. <laughs> 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 That's where your eyebrows should be. <laughs> they should be like that. I would have thought these would taper down more, though. Yours are supposed to stop here, but then you are a man. Mm -hmm. You can pluck them for me while I. What, around all those spaces? Okay, that's how you draw your eyebrows. Okay. Let me take a photo. No. I've got to show Sonia I practiced. She said I want evident. That doesn't go on there, does it? Oh, where's the bit gone? The brushy bit. No idea. Let me take a photo. Turn the camera off. <laughs> Okay, so we got here. I was really scared of driving this far. I'm such an idiot. And we then found where we were. Then we went to find where I've got to go tomorrow. Then we went around the block about 800 times. Bruno got some diesel. And now we've eaten. And now I've just obviously, <laughs> as you've seen, practiced his eyebrows drawing. <laughs> I've got a photo. I'm trying to insert the end photo. <laughs> Anyway, I'll show you quickly around the room because Bruno's in bed now. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> but you washed your eyebrows off. Yeah. <laughs> you should have kept them on. Favorite, I'm gonna uh, know. I'm gonna send them to Kai. <laughs> we got a telly. I've got a full length mirror. I won't be doing outfit of the day because <laughs> I'm not gonna have any outfits except uniform. Bruno's just got all his snacks. Have you put beer in my fridge? Yeah, but where's my other stuff? Oh, how, where's my? How did you manage to get all that in? Is it really nice and cold in there? I took the shelf out. Oh, so we've got loads of coffee. Why don't we put these on the floor? And then I've got my spare water. And then I'm gonna have hot chocolate in a minute. I don't know why the bin's in the middle of the room. Let's move the bin. And there's my bathroom. I've got a little wardrobe in here with my two outfits. I've got this nice sofa and my suitcase. And then I chose the, um, oh, that's loud, the bathroom that had the bath, but it has got a shower because the other room. Oh, how do I pull the blind down? Maybe I have to turn my phone camera off, otherwise I'm going to end up pulling it off the wall. There we go, it's really cute and country. Lovely little B&B &B for me. Going to be lonely though. Right. Good morning. I'm trying to be too quite quiet because it's early. Look at my view. Beautiful, isn't it? The circus tent or something over there. Oh, it's the fair. I think they've got a fair. I think I saw. They may not be going to the fair. The cars, you can't see it, it's just down in there. Lovely, comfy room.
I'm ready. I'm cosy. She said today I don't have to wear a uniform. So I'm wearing um, a little jumpsuit just to be comfortable, just in case we do anything. And I wanted black in case I got anything down it. Oh, I'm really nervous now. I've been reading my manual. I've been going over. I've been sat on the sofa doing all the revision. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Anyway, I'm ready. I've got my glasses on because I'm going to carry on doing some more just before I go. Is it nine? Nine. I don't know what time it is. I'm going probably in ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. I'm going to go and get some lunch to take at the services and then go and find her salon. Oh, wish me luck. I'll report later. I'm such a home bird. I bought my cup. And I bought my hot chocolate. I know it looks gross. In fact, now I've just made a mark. It's just to fit. A little wipe. This is a proper napkin as well, not 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 a paper one. I was trying to dry where the kettle. Look, I've got everything. <laughs> my little fridgey. Oh, these were nice. I bought these in them and this. Oh, they're really nice. I had to stop eating them. And I got my kit. I think I just filmed that, so I'm not going to film it again. My coziness. I've been laying on Bruno's side, watching my iPad, with the telly on quiet. <coughs> got plugs plugged. Plugs everywhere, I love that. I love a room that gives you lots of plugs. Look how nice it is then. You look at that end. I don't know why I'm doing this, I probably already just filmed it. I put that little light on because the uh, fan makes a lot of noise. Okay, now I'm going to get into 
cozy bed for a bit until I go to the toilet for bed and I'm gonna drink my hot chocolate. Gonna get my brain working tomorrow. My slippers. <laughs> and I've even kept my socks on because I get cold feet without Bruno here to stick them on. <laughs> right, getting into my cozy bed. I, I bought my silk pillowcase, I'm so sad. In I get, oh, I'll turn that light off as well. Let's turn this light off to make it cozier. I just dropped off. I'll probably fall asleep again. <laughs> Before Gordon, Gina and Fred come on. Right, in I get. Here I am again, day two. Oh, sorry, the TV remote's on the floor. Basically, I've been sitting on this table, at this table, practicing and practicing this morning because I didn't do any last night. I wanted my brain to be clear. So I'm going in with a clear brain. So I'm gonna go off and get my lunch and leave shortly. Um, tidied up a bit. Very cozy in here, very, very cozy. So I've got my uniform on today. Got clients today. Oh, look, the, the light's coming in. Anyway, doesn't look very nice like this, but it's not all about that today, is it? It's about getting this and sorting it and getting it in my head and then starting to do it. I'm really enjoying what I'm going to end up being able to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm off. Go and get myself ready to go and get my lunch and go. And I'm all blurred, sorry. See you later. just quickly sit here and give my visor a clean because I've been wearing it for two days now and it's probably a little bit sweaty. Um, we have to wear masks even without Covid for doing this so I'm really glad I bought this one because the fabric ones I just couldn't wear that long. These at least you can breathe under them. One lady actually said yesterday oh that's a really good mask so well done to the oh I'll have to insert the company that I got it from at the bottom because I can't remember them but they're brilliant. V, V something? Anyway, I've just, after yesterday I was shattered but I had to stay awake because 
I had to watch Geordie Shaw for 10 o'clock last night because Joseph's first running credits were up. So I watched it right to the end. Um, I wonder if I can put a picture in. I'll see if I can put a picture in in a minute. Um, and then I've just sat here and had to order all the stuff that I know I'm going to need next week when I want to start doing my case studies. So um, obviously things like numbing cream, you you don't you have to buy, and that's more expensive than I thought. It's about 80 quid for the two different pots because you put one on before and then one on all the way through. I will use it sparingly. Usually I'm a bit of a thrower around a thrower around but I won't be doing that. Oh, um, but in the main kit I've got everything. So if I want to just manual microblade, I've got stuff that I've just ordered three new colours, so I'll have six colours and I think that's enough. I think the majority of people want those certain colours from what I've learnt. These can go back in the case. I just like to do it before I go so that I don't have to fiddle around when I get there. Oh I've loved it, really loved it, but I'm very, it's very weird being on your own. Nobody really knows that you get a bit, mm -hmm. can't really go into it. I just, I suppose 30 years of being with Bruno, I don't do much on my own anymore. And it's really out of my comfort zone. I don't need to go into all that, but I'm doing it. I've got one more night and then tomorrow I'll pack all my stuff up. It's been a lovely stay in this B&B. You couldn't ask for a better B&B. You couldn't ask to be more comfortable and more homely. It's just, it's not home. But anyway, I'm going to get my bag sorted, get my shoes on. Ready for the third day. Two clients today. So really need to nail this perfectly without not going to the top of the eyebrow properly or just the little things that I keep doing. I need to, when I lose concentration at the end of the day, I start flicking and I don't do that all the way through so I need to stop that so I only have done been doing it a day so next week if I've got all my bits then hopefully I can get on and perfect it um so anyway I'll be off now I won't ramble any longer and I put all my stuff away not to touch the lens I'll see you later bye sit here every day and I, I'm knackered today look at the state I'm laying on the floor I've done a really good had a really good day today and really enjoyed it and done two ladies from scratch and I did an um, a hair stroke from scratch and an ombre on Asian skin so it's it you have to get it the right color so that it comes through underneath that top layer of skin because so, it goes under so it needs to show and they looked fantastic they had lovely skin and actually had really nice eyebrows to do um, oilier skin so it's harder to draw the pencil um, but brilliant absolutely gorgeous women absolutely lovely skin anyway enough of that my skin's probably not because I've been in a mask all a week but one more day to go but I'm going to enjoy my scone because I'm not having any more for the rest of the year. <laughs> I just thought I'd film now because I'll be taking my makeup off and getting into bed pretty soon and it's only quarter to five. <laughs> I feel really smelly welly at the minute. Anyway, I'm off to eat this and have a lie down, probably have a little nap and wake up again. And so I will um, probably check it in the morning unless I get bored and want to talk to myself later. <laughs> See you later. Before I get on the road, so I'm going to um, 
to go to my car and leave it. Luckily, Sonia's got good spaces to park, so no one's gonna wanna nick my dirty pants. <laughs> so we're ready. One certificate, that's for ombre with the machine, and powder brow and microblading with the machine, and that's for manual microblading. So now I've just got to do five case studies and then I'll um, get my proper certificate <coughs> in the post. Love it. October the 9th. Opposite, opposite, huh? So I get that in the chat. October the 9th, this is. I know, it's crazy. I'm sitting You look like you're in love. <laughs> <laughs> you're in love. <laughs> you look like you're in love. I love him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to put romantic music with that. <laughs> I often love you when someone goes, I mean, just We've done a little cuddle. Get him on then. No, that was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a queue now. How beautiful for October. <laughs> Look how nice that is. Look. It's October. It's not. What's that? Emily in Paris. Donna in Oxford. <laughs> so close. <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 